In this video, we will discuss the advantages and disadvantages of therapeutic cloning. If you don't know what therapeutic cloning is and would like to learn more about it, then go visit our last video on cloning in which we discuss the types of cloning in detail. Let's start by discussing the applications and benefits of therapeutic cloning. First, therapeutic cloning can create organs. According to americantransplantfoundation.org, over 100,000 people are on the wait list for organ transplants which can save their lives. And every 10 minutes, a new name is joined to the national waiting list. Furthermore, 20 people have to die on average in a day due to the lack of organs for transplant. Therapeutic cloning can create and provide vital organs for transplant and reduce the waiting time for the patients. It would also be cheaper and safer as the cloned organ has the same genetic material as the patient. Thus, there will be very little fear of organ rejection by the body. Second, consequently, as an added benefit, donating organs for transplant will no longer be necessary. Someone loses their life when another person is saved by organ transplant. Therapeutic cloning could eliminate the need of organ donors to save a person's life. Third, tissue rejection will not be a worry anymore. Therapeutic cloning would provide organ or tissue which is genetically similar to that of the patient. Organ or tissue rejection would be minimal for victims of burnt skin or other non-organ associated afflictions as these can be replaced by therapeutic cloning. Though the tissues are formed from a new embryo, they will still be similar to the original tissue as the cells divided from pre-harvested somatic materials. Fourth, it can treat genetic ailments. Since somatic cells have the same genetic information as the person, any genetic illnesses that the person has can also get transferred. However, scientists can alter the genes by changing the sequence of DNA through therapeutic cloning and fix the problems that cause the genetic disease. The processes and technology involved in therapeutic cloning creates a wide new field of medical treatments. Fifth. Organ can be regenerated by therapeutic cloning. Embryonic stem cells can be transformed into specific types of tissues according to the needs of the patient. A liver scarred because of cirrhosis could be replaced by a new liver. An anterior cruciate ligament ACL, could be corrected within weeks rather than months as a new ligament can be affixed. New skin can be grown by skin grafts without leaving scar tissues. Six. Proactive efforts rather than reactive efforts are needed for a medical treatment to work well. Replacing destroyed cells with strong cells which are compatible with the patient is possible when it comes to therapeutic cloning. This could soon work for prevention of illnesses and reduce the amount of risk to health. This also helps in controlling chromosomal or genetic afflictions that a patient may have. Seventh, it may shorten the treatment time. Every day, a wait for an organ for organ transplant leads to the death of about 20 people. Did you know, on average, a new patient is added on the organ transplant list in USA every 10 minutes. Sometimes, it may even take 5 years before a patient gets a direct match for a kidney transplant. With the help of therapeutic cloning, people would not have to wait this long. Eight. Therapeutic cloning gives rise to new treatment techniques. Many illnesses such as diabetes, which last for a very long period of time, can be controlled with the help of therapeutic cloning. Other deadly and dangerous diseases like Alzheimer's disease can also be treated. Ninth, therapeutic cloning makes it possible to deeply understand the molecular causes of an illness. This can be done by studying embryonic stem cells derived from embryos which are cloned from sick human or animal cells. Tenth, differentiated tissues from embryonic stem cells are great tools for testing recently developed therapeutic drugs. Now, let's discuss the disadvantages and the risks. First, the universe is quite uncertain. Unpredictable occurrences do happen even in the most calculated scientific procedures. It takes only a single mutation to grow crops like navel oranges. Mutations can happen suddenly, including during genetic transfers while using somatic cells. This results in the embryos not dividing well. These mutations may even cause tumors in patients. 
Second, the somatic cells used for cloning do not possess the same attributes as newly developed stem cells would possess. Adult somatic cells have been considered to counter this obstacle. However, the outcome has been inconclusive. One of our best solutions could be to preserve harvested stem cells from cord blood for future requirements of therapeutic cloning to resolve this problem. Third, scientists believe that embryonic stem cells can help treat diseases. However, there are many similarities between cancer and stem cells. Both can divide and grow indefinitely. As a matter of fact, some research even shows that these stem cells can mutate and this could result in cancer once it completes 60 cell division cycles. Thus, these similarities need to be studied in depth if we want to treat diseases in humans. Finally, therapeutic cloning has had a low success rate as of now. Research shows that the cloned cells have had serious defects which are harmful to human health. Check out the description box below for the link to the website where you can find the video transcript and additional resources and much more.